is Helen's cosy fireside IQ chat. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is um, modify one of the patterns already in the catalogues and create another pattern. So I'm going to start off by choosing Design Sew Quilt, Start New, and I'm going to do a block pattern, so I'm choosing that. Now I have to enter the size of a rectangle manually since the IQ is in demo mode and off the machine. Uh, I'm just going to use 10 inches by 10 inches. Can't move the needle to the upper left so I just touch OK. And now I'm going to choose the pattern that I want to modify. I'm going to go down here to the QOV patterns. Oh, wrong one. And I'm going to take the flag and show you how I make this flag pinwheel. So I'm going to choose the flag. And that's how IQ wants to place it in that 10 inch block. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to zoom in to look at where how the start and end points are. Zoom in, touch your screen, touch. I'm keeping zooming, zooming, zooming until I can see exactly where the end and the start points of the flag are. Now there isn't much of a gap there, so I want to make the gap bigger between the start and the end point uh, so that I can uh, combine the flags to make the pinwheel later. So now I see where the gap is. I'm going to um, touch finished and I want to split the pattern. And now I'm going to zoom in again so I can really see those end start and end points. Zoom off. Now I'm going to cut off this part of the pattern. So that's going to be my I can I can move that split point wherever I want, but I think right about there is good. Um, so I want to split it at that point so I have to touch split. And now immediately you can see that IQ's added another S and an E so that the main part of the flag is one pattern and this little bit is another pattern. Um, that's all I need to do, so I'm going to touch finished. And now I want to delete that tiny bit that I split off, so touching delete pattern. Again I have to zoom right in because there's no way I can do it uh, at that size. That's good. So this is the part I want to delete. I've touched it and it turned red. So now I touch continue and it says, are you sure you want to delete the selected patterns? Yes. And now that's gone and now there'll be a bigger space between the start and the end point of the flag. Now I'm going to modify this flag pattern. So I'm touching modify pattern. I have to touch it so it knows I want to modify that one. Continue. And now I'm going to scale this down to half that size, so 50%, and there it is, 50%. Now I'm going to move it slightly, just for uh, ease of you know, visual seeing it. Okay, I'm finished. Now I'm going to make a pinwheel, so I'm going to want to copy this pattern, touch it. There's my copy. Now I want to rotate it. Uh, and I think I'm going to make a, um, a pinwheel with five flags. So I'm going to touch rotate and now I'm going to touch the degree button until it gets to 72 degrees. 72 degrees. And now I'm going to rotate my copy and it will rotate automatically the 72 degrees. And now I can move the copy so that start point matches up with the end point. Now I need to zoom in to make sure it really does. Now I see the wrong one touched so I'm going to move this so that the end matches up with that start. Finished. Okay, now I'm going to copy this flag. I'm going to rotate it 72 degrees. I'm going to move it I'm going to zoom in. Now I can move it so that it matches up 
that the start and the end point snap together. Finished. Now copy this flag, rotate it 72 degrees, move it, zoom in, move it slowly. Finished one more time. Copy this flag, rotate it, move it, zoom in, move it, and the end point snap to the start there, and the end point snap to the start there. So I'm finished, and there's my five flag pinwheel. Now I have to combine those five flags together so that they become one pattern. So I'm going to touch combine pattern. Select the first pattern to combine, this one. Continue. Select the next pattern to combine, this one. Continue. Now, these three buttons appeared, which means, it says how do I want to connect this pattern. It means that the start, uh, the end point of this flag does not match the start point of that flag. And IQ wants me to decide whether to join them with a continuous line, to stop the cut the threads or do an automatic jump stitch. I don't want to do any of those, I want it just to be continuous. So I know um, I've when I chose this pattern after this one it means the the um, the start and the end point didn't match properly. So I'm going to go back to the previous page and I'll uh, combine patterns again. This is the first one. Continue. This one. Continue. If I go around this way, then the, the S and the E's will match. So, touch this one now. Continue. Touch this one. Continue. Touch this one. Continue. Finished. And now those five flags are one complete pattern. And I'm going to save that. So I'm finished. Save quilt pattern. Save a pattern from the quilt. Touch it. And now I have to give it a name. So, uh, flag five. Flag, oh, I'm going to do flag five, yeah. Enter, and I'll put it into the QOV catalog. Touch it. Select. And now it'll, it'll be in there, in that memory. So I don't need to keep this anymore. So I'm going to go back. You've not saved your work, but I have, so I don't need to worry about that. No, nope. and then back to the menu. So that shows you how you can take an existing pattern and create a new one. And now I'll back to enjoying the fire.